A Super Bowl 60 appearance is on the line today. The Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles, the number one and two seed in the NFC, will face off here in the NFC Championship game. The Eagles had a strong regular season. They ended up going 11-6, they won the NFC East, and were the number two seed in the NFC heading into the postseason. In the wildcard round, they handled business, blowing out the 49ers 35-7. It did take a bit more work in the divisional round, but they got the job done, winning in overtime over the Falcons 30-24. The Philadelphia offense is really good and balanced. They're third in points per game, sixth in passing, and third in rushing. And that's not really a big surprise when you look at the personnel that they have on offense. Jalen Hurts, he gets the job done with his arm and his legs. He's got 74 touchdowns combined. Over the last two years, if you add his rushing touchdowns and passing touchdowns together, he's got great receivers in Devonta Smith, who won the Heisman Trophy back in college at Alabama in 2020. A.J. Brown is one of the more dynamic playmakers on the outside. Dallas Goddard, he is still going strong in his eighth year in the NFL out of South Dakota State. DeAndre Swift at running back, he had 20 touchdowns this last year if you add his rushing and receiving touchdowns together. So the Philadelphia offense, it's really good. And our defense, it's been playing really well. Over the last three games, we've only given up 24 points combined and have allowed no touchdowns. It has been an extremely fun run to watch. But can we keep it up now that we don't have Bobby Brown III, who is done for the year with broken ribs and has been placed on IR? That will open up a chance here for Emmett Spearman to get a starting spot, and he's actually got a breakout opportunity. We'll see if he can accomplish any of those goals and get his depth rate to go up and hopefully help us get a win. The defense for Philadelphia, it's really good as well. They're fifth in points per game allowed, number two against the run, but just 22nd against the pass. And again, like I mentioned in the Commanders pregame, I think it just has to do with them being in front on teams, which leads to the opponent just throwing the ball against them. So hopefully we don't fall behind early because I don't want to just be sitting back there trying to have our offensive line hold up against Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, and of course, Hassan Reddick off the edge. And Josh Rosen, he needs to play better. It's not just on the offensive line. He was extremely inaccurate in that commander's win. We need him to come out here and have a big day, along with Antonio Gibson, Cooper Cup, and Mike Williams. We have a lot of high-end talent on offense, and they're certainly more capable than putting up just 19 points in a playoff game. And we're probably going to need to score more than that. I don't think our defense is going to be able to hold this Philadelphia offense down the entire game, but I guess we'll see. The NFC Championship game will begin with Philadelphia on offense. Hurts taking a chance down the field for Javier Felder, and he couldn't make the catch. It nearly got picked off by Caver and Fuller, who both had an equal opportunity at it. Third down. Hurts is going to scramble to his right. He runs into Devin White, and the ball gets punched out. Byron Young will end up with it, and the Rams are going to force an early turnover and take over at a great spot with a chance to take the lead early in the game. We know that this LA defense has been on fire over their last three games, and it looks like they want to keep that up. O.J. Howard will make the catch on the right side, and the veteran tight end has a gain of nine. On second and one, it'll be Gibson taking the handoff. He's got the edge, has a first down, breaks a tackle, and is inside the five, out of bounds at the four, a gain of 18 for Antonio Gibson on his first carry of the game. First and goal, pass, ooh, it's going to go into the ground, nearly a fumble, but they will call that a pass. Second and goal, a handoff to Gibson, he cuts back to his left, and Jordan Brooks, the ex-Seattle Seahawk, is there to make the tackle. Third down, more pressure on the way, Rosen gets the pass off in time to the end zone, Four Cooper Cup will make the catch, he got the better of Miles Jack, a linebacker, who for some reason the Eagles had matched up against him. And the Rams are now up 7-0, thanks to a great job by their defense and offense. Dallas got it underneath, he's got a gain of 5. Third down, it'll be Swift getting the handoff, he's going to head back to his right, take a shot from Lonnie Culliver, 
but he picks up the first down. Now at the 37, Swift hurtling over Kobe Turner and Lonnie Culliver is in on another tackle. A gain of six for DeAndre Swift. Third down, it's a read option. Hertz is gonna make a fool of a few LA defenders, taking it across midfield. And down he goes at the LA 36. You always have to be careful about Jalen Hurts and his running ability. There is a first down for Devonta Smith, who's down at the 22. The Eagles just outside the red zone. Hurts checking it down to Swift. He somehow will stand his feet, turn up field, and go down at the 12 with a gain of 10. They did say that was not enough for a first down, though. Second, it's short. Swift, he's got the first down this time, and down he goes at the 7. And he is a bit shaken up. He's and getting the ball a ton early in this game. He'll hopefully be all right. First and goal. Hertz is going to find Javier Felder. The second-year man out of Washington is up to the two. Second and goal. The running back is the backup, and he will score. That is Danny Lynch, who only had 13 yards in the regular season. And no touchdowns, I believe, but he scores one here to tie us up at seven. And that's the first touchdown this LA defense is allowed in now three plus games. There is Gibson taking a handoff off the left side for a good run. Now they go back to Gibson who has a lane and jukes his way across midfield. And is down to 45 of Philadelphia. Up to 45 yards on just four rush attempts. They'll give it to him right side. He doesn't get the blocking he needs so he's down right away. Only a gain of one. Third down. The Rams go to shotgun. Rosen, has plenty of time. He's going to fire left side for Michael Kirkpatrick, but he got caught up on a defender there, and there's no flag, so no pass interference call or defensive holding, which means the Rams let the pie away, and their defense is out there making plays. Devin White getting a sack. Third and 12. Hurts. Scanning. Now he's going to move to his left. He's going to lob deep down the field for A.J. Brown. It is out of bounds and incomplete, and there is a flag on the play. They are going to call a holding on the offense. So they'll just end up declining that, and that'll be a punt from Philadelphia. L.A. now in the second quarter is going to begin the drive with the deep ball, and it'll be pulled in by Mike Williams. He couldn't quite score a touchdown. They're going to roll him down at the one. First and goal. The Rams out of a run-heavy look. It'll be Gibson met in the backfield by Kobe Dean and Jordan Brooks. He's going to go down at the four. Third and goal still at the four. Pressure on the way. Rosen is hit as he would go, and he's going to throw an interception. It is picked off by Julian Love. He can't get much on the return. He goes down at the four. So the Eagles will start their drive backed up, but they do hold strong on defense. First and 10 from the four. Hurts to his right. He's going to connect with Danny Winch, who is still out there at running back. Don't know DeAndre Swift for the Eagles, and Winch has a good gain there. Do you know, out of the shadow of their own end zone. Hurts on a read option. He cuts his way back inside of it. And it's going to go down at the 18 with only a gain of two. Third down. The Rams only rush four. Hurts under pressure and he can't get away. He'll be sacked by Demarcus Swords. And that will end the Philadelphia drive. The Rams with more good starting field position. Rosen looking to throw a screen and he can't get the pass off in time. He's going to be sacked by Jalen Carter. A loss of 12. Third and 22. They will just hand it off to Gibson, who does get some good blocking, but he is not going to pick up 22 yards on the run. So L.A. just playing the field position game and trusting their defense. Philadelphia taking over at their seven. A.J. Brown making a catch on the left side in front of Kelvin Joseph. It'll go for six yards. Third down. A blitz on the way, and it'll get there in time. Devin White is going to swing Jalen Hurts to the ground for his second sack of the first half. Philadelphia, they go three and out. LA taking over at midfield. It'll be Gibson right side with a gain of nine. He's up to the 42 of Philadelphia. At a 12 personnel, Gibson straight ahead. He's got the first down easy and is up to the 35. Under five minutes to go in the first half, actually down to four. Rosen into traffic. He gets it to Anthony Allen who not only saves an interception, He's able to pick up a few yards. Third down. Rosen has time on this one. He doesn't like what he sees. He's going to scramble to his left and break a tackle, taking the inside the 10. A run of 20 yards for Josh Rosen, who's 
Not known for his running ability. First and goal. Frozen. With time, he fires into traffic for Cooper Cup, who will make the catch and go down right away at the four. Now with a two-minute warning. Here to wait, Gibson heading to his right, and he's got a walk-in touchdown. And the Rams are going to retake the lead in the first half of this NFC Championship game. Going up 14-7. And that will actually be our score as we head into halftime of the NFC Championship game with a Super Bowl appearance on the line. LA is up 14-7 on Philadelphia. So the story of the first half, it was the play of both defenses. They were both pretty excellent. But our defense was a bit better than the Philadelphia defense. We had some big plays on offense, but I think we have to try and rely on Antonio Gibson in the second half. He was excellent, and we should probably ride him. The defense, they got a great first half out of Devin White. But can they have another player step up, or can Devin White just keep up that level of play for another half? Third down to begin the second half. It'll be Cooper Cup on the right side, making the catch and spinning his way up to the 40-yard line. Another third down. Rosen. He's going to lob the ball deep down the field for Anthony Allen in the triple coverage. It's an easy swat away for the Philadelphia secondary. So LA not doing much on their first drive. How about Philadelphia? Hurts to his left. He gets a block and is going to fight through a tackle of Devin White who refuses to let him break away. And Hurts is going to go down just shy of the 40. From the 37. A quick pass on the right side to Goddard. And he's knocked down by Jordan Fuller. At the 42 with a gain of five. Third down. The Eagles going empty. It's a quick pass on the left side for Goddard. He can't make the catch. You guessed it. Devin White was there to make the play. LA beginning this drive inside their own 25. Gibson is going to be spun ahead by the six foot, 240 pound linebacker now in his sixth season out of Texas Tech and Jordan Brooks. Third down. It's a pass on the right side for Cup. He'll make the catch. But not get a first down. So the Rams end up going three and out. The Eagles beginning at the 18. It's a pass for A.J. Brown, and it will not make it to him. It is going to be intercepted by Kelvin Joseph, who had zero interceptions in the regular season. But he gets one here, and the Rams now have a chance to get command of this game. Rosen has cup wide open. He'll juke past Miles Jack and go down at the 10. And that is pretty much going to make it goal to go for the Rams. Allen in motion. It's a handoff to him. He's going to head backwards before heading forwards. And he's going to dive his way into the end zone. It's a rushing touchdown for Anthony Allen. The dynamic playmaker. You just have to get the ball in his hands any way possible. And he can make things happen. The Rams now up by two scores. But the Eagles, they want to make it a one-score game again. Jalen Hurts on the read option. He is able to take it up to the 44-yard line. After the big run, Hurts spinning to his left. He's going to lob the ball down the field, and A.J. Brown will make a spinning grab going down the L.A. 16. Back-to-back -back huge plays for the Philadelphia offense. It has him in business. Hurts rolling to his left, and he rolls into a sack. Demarcus Lawrence getting his second of the day. Second at 16. It's a fake to Swift. Hurts is immediately under pressure. He gets away from Benji Shepard. Running to his right. The ball is going to be punched out. And it looks like the Eagles are going to recover A.J. Brown. They get a heads-up play to keep possession. Third and 14. Hurts under pressure. Throws to his left. Dallas Goddard will make the catch. And Lonnie Culliver is going to save the first down. And tackle him three yards short. He bring up fourth and three. The Eagles are going to wind up for a field goal. And they will just kick it. And it'll stay a two-score lead for L.A. 21-10 in the fourth quarter. The Rams are going to start this drive with a screen to Gibson, who is going to have a player blocked into him. Could have been a bigger play, but it's only going to gain a couple of yards. Hurt down. A screen on the left side to Allen. He's got the first down. It slows up to get a block from Mike Williams. And Allen is going to be shoved out of bounds in plus territory at the 45 of Philadelphia. Now a fake to Gibson and a pass on the right side is going to be completed to Mike Williams. He barely got that ball in there. A good throw from Josh Rosen from the 20. Only a four-man rush from Philadelphia. Allen is open underneath, making the catch, and he's going to be shoved down at the 11 with a first down. Anthony Allen, because of plays in this second half. 
Rodriguez. Not much room for him on this run. Just his second rush attempt of the day. He's going to pick up two yards on it. Now second down. Rosen. Under pressure. Fires to his right. And he's going to be picked off. Julian Love, who had the interception earlier. He's going to double up and pick off another pass. And the Rams are going to turn it over. So Philadelphia. A chance to make it a one-score game. Hurts. Swing it out right side to Swift. Who will juke out Jordan Fuller and get a first down. Going down at the 22. DeAndre Swift in a regular season. He had 20 touchdowns. Three of them were receiving. Here he is getting a carry and he's going nowhere. It's a loss of two. Kobe Turner there to make the play. Third and 10. Hurts. Quick to his right for Javier Felder. And he couldn't complete the catch. That is a caver and knocked it out. The Eagles, they're going to go for it on fourth down. They really need this one. Hurts. Lobbing deep left side. It is deflected away by Nolan Walker. The rookie cornerback gets tested on fourth down. And he's able to come through. So after a turnover on downs, the Rams have a great chance here to just put the game away. Gibson is going to be spun ahead. Going down at the 13, a gain of nine. The Eagles rush defense, it's been... Right in the regular season, today, not so much. They've been ran all over. On second and short, a toss right side to Gibson is going down in the backfield. A huge loss. Joe and Carter there. Third down. Rosen. Under pressure, he gets a throw off in time, and it's going to be incomplete. He had Gibson open near the end zone, but pressure got there in time. The Tanner Brown, he's been not too busy today. He had a busy regular season. Not so much today. They... Bring him on to kick a field goal, and the Rams extend their lead. The Eagles down by 14. They'll begin this drive with a pass on the left side to A.J. Brown. The ex-Titan is down near midfield of the big gain. 3.30 to go in the fourth quarter. Hurts. Hitting Smith underneath. He'll stiff arm Devin White. And pick up a good gain to make it third and manageable. Philadelphia now going hurry up. With not much time remaining in the fourth quarter. They need two scores. Hurts. Spinning to his left. He's going to run for the first down. He runs by Avante Maddox, the ex-Eagle. And Hurts is going to be shoved down at the 12. So a big run again from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles are now in the red zone. It'll be a fake to Swift. Hurts to the end zone. It is picked off by Addison Caver. He's going to try and return this one. He's up past the 30. Now near midfield. He'll bounce off of DeAndre Swift. Caver still going and now knocked down at the Philadelphia 27. That may end up being the dagger. The Rams are now going to have an even better chance to just run this one out and advance on to the Super Bowl. The Rams are just two minutes away from advancing to the Super Bowl. Gibson trying to help him close it out. He's inside the 10 and down he goes at the 5. And that'll force the Eagles to start using timeouts if they want to get this ball back. Second to go from the 3. Gibson is swarmed in the backfield and down he goes. And he's a bit shaken up on the play. That'll force the Rams to use a timeout, which will help the Eagles out. And also Gibson, he is heading back to the locker room. Not a great sign. Third and goal, Rodriguez. He's back inside the five and up to the one where he goes down and the Eagles use their last timeout. The Rams are just going to play it safe. They will kick the field goal and Tanner Brown, he's going to make this. Short kick and make it a three-score lead. So Philadelphia, down by 17. They need a miracle. They'll begin this drive with a deep ball to A.J. Brown, who is going to go down at the L.A. 43. So a huge play to begin the drive. The Eagles, out of timeouts. They're in desperation mode. Hurts is swarmed in. Down he goes. He's going to be sacked by Milton Williams for a loss of seven. Now at midfield, with 50 seconds to go in the fourth. Hurts. Lob it down the field for Felder, and he's going to pull it in. The Eagles were able to take advantage of a mismatch after all the hurry-up they've been doing. They were able to get Felder going up against Devin White. Hurts, with under 30 seconds to go, is going to take a sack. Emmett Spearman, he is going to complete his breakout opportunity nearing the very end of the game. I guess it doesn't matter when you complete it, as long as you get it done. Now a deep ball on the left side is deflected away by Kelvin Joseph. And that is going to do it. The Rams are going to defeat the Eagles in the NFC Championship game 27-10 and advance on to Super Bowl 60. For the Eagles, their season, it's over. They'll have to head to the offseason 
and they'll have to try and make some additions to this roster. It's a good one, but they could use a few more key players and key positions to try and get them over the hump. They got a big day out of A.J. Brown, and it was a solid day for Hurts on the ground, but he did fumble the ball a couple of times and threw an interception. Actually, two of them, one to Caver, one to Kelvin Joseph. Speaking of interceptions, Josh Rosen, he threw a pair of them at a sub-50% completion percentage, so he didn't exactly do what I was hoping. But Gibson had a strong day, and our defense, they were elite again. We have some big things to go over and to talk about. We'll get to them here in a second. Let's get through a few upgrades. Ben Portis getting one to his accuracy deep, three to his awareness. You never know when you'll need your backup quarterback to step in. Tremaine Barton getting two to his ball carrier vision. That doesn't really matter too much to us with the way that we play this franchise, but I guess it helps out his overall. Keenan Russell, where he was catching traffic and a lot of other stuff. The last upgrade we have of these upgrades is for Jason Taylor the second. We go hybrid, three to his play rec, and three to his pursuit. So Emmett Spearman, we saw him get that sack near the very end of the game. And with that, he goes up to Star Dev, gets 5,000 XP, which was enough for an upgrade, and he gets four to his awareness. That's great. But to make things even better, he has won Defensive Rookie of the Year in the NFC. And because of that, he gets even more upgrades, and also, he goes up another dev trait. So, just like that, Emmett Spearman went from normal dev to superstar dev. And he wasn't even a full-time player for us in the regular season. He played under 400 snaps, but he made the most of his limited snap count. And I think he's going to be a very big piece of our defense, not in just the Super Bowl, but in next season and beyond. Now some bad news, Antonio Gibson. He's got a broken collarbone. We have placed him on IR, and he will not be available to play in the Super Bowl. Montel Rodriguez, he has had to play for us in the past as a starter, and he will have to do so again. We're going to be counting on him quite a bit. Tremaine Martin is going to be his backup, along with Jose Pitts, who we have signed off of our practice squad. He already knows the playbook, so we can also step in if we really need another running back too. We have released John Simpson because Steve Avila, who has been out for our first two playoff games, he'll be back, and that means we don't need the extra lineman, so we'll use the extra roster spot on John Reynolds. For some reason, Madden has it set so the dev traits update during the week of the Super Bowl instead of just waiting until the week after. So we have had a few dev trait changes besides the one to Emmett Spearman. Michael Kirkpatrick goes up to star, Demarcus Swartz up to superstar, and Jordan Fuller, he goes down to superstar from Superstar X Factor. We are going to be taking on the Baltimore Ravens in Super Bowl 60. They beat the Kansas City Chiefs 31 to 21. It was a nice game from Lamar. We threw two touchdowns and also added one on the ground. We just got done playing a dynamic quarterback in Jalen Hurts, but Lamar Jackson, he takes things to a whole nother level. So it's going to be the Los Angeles Rams against the Baltimore Ravens in Super Bowl 60. It should be a great game. The Ravens have a very good roster, and they began the year slow, but have won a ton of games since then. And they will be probably our toughest test yet. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching this one. And I will see you in the next one.